Welcome to Women's Eye View, an educational series covering thoughts, perspective, and outlook on business, entertainment, fashion, finance, leadership, sex, health, and wellness through the eyes of women. I'm your hostess, Abla Doku. We have with us today Miss India DC, Pooja Ganesh. Thank you for coming to the show and welcome. You pursued several interests while also getting your bachelor's degree. Correct. How did you manage to do all of those? Well, from a young age, I've done music and dance, and I just want to continue to pursue my interests while studying journalism. And because I did pursue that, I was able to do a lot more and achieve more and perform more around the area. So I'm very happy with how far I've come along over the years. So that has opened opportunities for you. Absolutely. That's fantastic. So you are now broadcast series we are calling Self Love, Self Care. What do you do to self care? And what does self love mean to you? So I believe that self care and self love are two very important terms that everyone should know and but they are two different things self-love is a thought process whereas self-care is more of an action that helps you achieve self-love and you can do both to achieve the other things so self-love I believe is that you are telling yourself positive things about yourself trying appreciating yourself and looking at yourself in a very positive loving manner and appreciating and accepting the faults you have acknowledging the strengths that you have and continuing to tell yourself that daily and help yourself boost your self-esteem that's fantastic and so what are some of the things that you do personally to self care so what are the things that you do to achieve that goal of self-love so I do a lot of different things. Um, each person does their own thing to achieve self-love. In my case, I, um, I do a lot of music and dance, and that dance is not just performing. I have to keep practicing to keep up with my new lessons and old lessons, so doing that as long as I'm sweating, I feel that I'm doing good. And with music, I feel it's a form of yoga. And oh. when you sing, you're breathing and you're focusing on just that what that moment and that's what really helps me and whenever I have a challenge I try to take a few deep breaths and just say you can do it and yeah that's awesome so you entered Miss India DC recently and from all I can see obviously you won <laughs> how were you able to prepare what made you decide to even enter? So I uh, met Miss Nina Basker, the coordinator for the Miss India DC pageant uh, on August 17th. Okay. And she spoke to me about the pageant and the pageant structure and the opportunities that you could get from participating. And thankfully my mom was with me and my mom was like, you gotta do this. You gotta go to go meet other people, network and build new skills and get just get a good experience. What an amazing yeah, mother. She is and she said you know it's not about winning or losing it's more to get a great experience and putting yourself out there. So She could not have put it any better. That's fantastic. Yeah and so the next day was a cruise where we got to meet all the girls and um, Miss Nina off, um, organized a lot of these different uh, get-togethers and rehearsals so that we felt very comfortable with okay. each other and got to understand how the pageant works and so we can perform well. And I met all the girls that day and it was a great experience just meeting them. And you know, before um, the ac pageant actually happened, we each had to write a profile oh. um, that would be published on the pageant website. Okay. And reading those profiles just made me realize this is their, each girl is so brilliant in their own way. They have so many talents, dreams and passions and ambitions career interests that they want to pursue and mm -hmm. it's not just you know about beauty or looking having the best dress or best makeup it's actually a total package yeah what you bring on stage and you bring 
everything, your knowledge and talent to the So it's not enough to just be pretty. You have yes. to have the knowledge and you have to have other skills yes. because during the, uh, during the pageant, you actually have to perform. Exactly. Okay. And so what did you do for your talent? So I sang a song in oh. my talent round. Yes. Did you? I sang an old uh, classic, Bollywood classic, uh, Ap Jaisa Koi Meri by Nazia Hassan, who's my all-time favorite singer. No kidding. Can you share a little bit of that with us? <laughs> So what are, tell us about your aspirations, what's next for you? So I have a lot of dreams, um, I'm always, my mind is filled with different things I want to accomplish and what's next for me would be to keep performing around the area. I really want to establish a great career in music and dance and currently I do teach music to little children. Tell us I, about uh, that. It's an amazing experience seeing a, a few, I mean, a bunch of kids actually singing what you teach them and, you know, they are each to very good, they each sing very well. Mm -hmm. So when we, when I hear them, I'm just very proud of my students. And so my goal is to eventually open my own school and wow. continue teaching both dance and music to as many people as possible. That's wonderful. Um, do you teach in the public schools or are you, do you teach in a private setting? In a private setting. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I also teach, my mom is mostly the teacher, but I help her out. So. Wow. What a mom. I would love to meet that mother. <laughs> <laughs> so we are all outraged about Weinstein's behavior and that of others. Should you, and I know that you're going to go to uh, Miss India USA, right? Correct. And should you win that crown on top of this, <laughs> what are you going to speak about? What, what kind of, how are you going to use that platform to talk about the issue that we have in our society of women and even men being abused and being harassed? Right. Um, there are a lot of things I would like to do with my title. Um, I would love to perform um, and raise awareness on these topics. Mm. Um, speaking of sexual assault, I think it's a very serious topic and you know seeing me, the Me Too hashtag campaign on social media, it's, it, it's just surprising that there's so many women. It's, it's great that we're unified, that everyone's saying Me Too, Me Too on social media but at the same time it's terrible that there's that many people who have suffered who are victims yeah. and I believe that the root what we need to do and the thing is it's not just women the thing is sexual assault can happen to, to anybody anyone, yes. we have to understand it can happen to men as well as women and children and at any age so I feel that and what I feel that is that we need to instill um, the idea of what is consent in schools and from an early age. Mm. When I went to college, I mean in school we learned about abstinence, but in college did I actually get a full idea of what consent meant based on That's so many. That's interesting. So I felt that, I thought about and I felt that, you know, I feel we should talk about consent at an earlier age instead of introducing it later on so that everyone is knowledgeable and understands how serious of it impact it will have on individuals have. so you're thinking that okay let's do this begin this at home continue that through elementary middle school even through high school and then yeah. keep that up in, in in college yeah probably that's where most of it pro probably happens I yeah think. okay and if we educate people mm. and it's we need to continue stepping up to the plate and talking about it and also providing a very safe platform so that people who have been victims can feel safe, can feel that they won't get blamed, won't feel uncomfortable talking about it. I mean, as such, it's a big thing for them to come up and say that this is what happened. So we need to provide them a safe place to be able to talk about it, I mean, about it and also start educating as many people about what is consent, what is considered, you know. So your, what are some of your hobbies? What are some of the things that you like to do? Um, do you like to go camping, hiking? What do you like to do? 
So besides performing music and dance, I love modeling. Um, oh, I, that's not surprising. You're <laughs> so, so beautiful. Thank you. I love modeling and I write a lot. I write poetry and short stories and creative writing. And I've been writing since I was eight. So I wow. try to write in my diary. My closet is filled with diaries and papers of my works. And some I have gone published. Yeah. Um, I do maintain a travel blog. Okay. Dramatic Wonders, and okay. I do a lot of photography, and um, I also do love outdoor activities. I love hiking, snorkeling. I love being in the water, swimming, That's and um, I, I used to, in college, uh, s it's called... Um, uh, tight roping so I would we would walk um, some someone used to set up a rope on two trees okay and we would walk on the rope so we how would, wide is this rope uh, it's it's a good maybe 20 feet okay so or 10 to 15 feet probably I hope you have harness on <laughs> no it's, it's a very um, it's not too uh, high high it's, okay. it's not too um, so, so it's easy to walk on. Okay, so you're yeah. an adventurous one. Yeah. You're very creative. Have you had any of your writings published anywhere? Yes, I have published a few of them on, cam um, on campus publications as well as uh, cultural publications around the area. That's fantastic. So. And you know what I'm hoping and wishing for you is that you mentioned earlier that you have the dream to open a studio, teach music, teach dance. I hope that you're able to do that not just here, but able to do that across the country. Exactly, not just the country, around the world, I There hope. you go, that's so, my girl, yeah. that's awesome. And I also do love performing for different various causes. I have performed for children's education for um, specifically Uplift a Child International. Okay. And also I once did uh, perform for a fundraiser for victims of the Haiti earthquake in 2010. Oh, so wow. I want to continue to perform and try to raise awareness or you know, raise money, funds, money for causes around the world. So for our viewers, if someone has a nonprofit or has a cause, they can give you a call. Absolutely. And say, we have in this event, would you come and perform for us? Yeah, I would definitely really? love to explore that side. Okay. So I would love to start exploring how to organize the show and get it around the area. So you're a giver at heart. That's wonderful. Um, so Ganesh, you have um, shared some of the things that you love to do. You've shared with us your aspirations, where you want to go. Um, I'm fascinated by your mother. Tell me all about her. She is an amazing mom. Um, I tell her, she's like my best friend. I tell her everything and she's been my biggest number one support, especially in music and dance. Um, both my father and my mother, but especially my mother. Um, she was the one who started teaching me music when I was 12, okay. and we basically do everything together, and she is my biggest inspiration. Yeah. That is amazing. We hope that more moms will support yes. their girls, support their dream, mm -hmm. for them to get to wherever it is that they need to get to. Yeah. And it seems like she's done that for you and she's done it very well. And you and carry yourself father. so, and your father. Mm -hmm. Of course the father, <laughs> right? <laughs> Gotta give him credit you too. Gotta give him credit. <laughs> Without him, mom, mom would not be able to do what she's doing. So um, thank you so very much, um, Miss Pooja Ganesh, yes. for joining us today. And we are wishing you the absolute best in your next endeavor. And you have to bring the crown to DMV. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you must bring it. Otherwise, we have to send you someplace else. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, viewers, for joining us today. And thank you again for joining us. Mm -hmm. I am your hostess, Abladoku. Expand your eye view. Expand your horizon. See you next time and have an amazing day.